Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Opening round scheduled for 10. Two guys with bad intentions now facing each other here. You know, the old timers would say it's harder to miss these guys than it is to hit them. Gets rid of that body shot. Right to the head with that right. Comes across with a hook up top. Mike Tyson's known as a guy who isn't going to be bashful early on. He has power, and he's not afraid to showcase it. Yeah, but that's not all that this business is about. My mentor, Consumato, used to say, hey, you know, power is just part of it. It's kind of like having a military weapon. You know, you still need a missile to get it there. Alone, all it does is make a hole in the ground. Otherwise, it has no real use. You have to have a way to get it to the target. Let's see if he has that way. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Andre Bishop. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Mike Tyson's defense penetrated by a well-targeted uppercut. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both going to have headaches, but we're going to have a special one on our hands. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Mike Tyson with a big right hand. See what he can do when he sends that right to the head. He gets off with it. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. That last round really damaged him. Bishop's face does not look good at all. You can see his corner trying to tend to him. Yeah, they're tending to him a little too late. What about in the gym? What about in training camp where you got to teach a guy, move your head. Don't get caught so you won't look that way. Maybe they didn't do their job. Andre Bishop took some damage in that last round, and now Bishop tries to steady himself in this round, but he does not look like he's back to 100% health. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Nice work with the overhand right. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Teddy, a Mike Tyson left hook. Where's it come from? Well, it comes from everywhere. I mean, he wants to make sure that he annihilates you. So he puts everything into it. Shoulder snap, body, back, everything. <laughs> Bishop's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Got him, 
And round number three is underway. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. And now he scores well with a straight right. Combo lands to the head. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. That worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Very accurate two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Bishop's cut is not looking good at all. I'm getting the sense that this fight could be stopped at any moment. So the key is where the cut is. When the referee brings the doctor up to look at it, he's going to look at whether or not getting worse will imperil his health down the road. I think Bishop scored really well there. He just damaged his opponent with that power shot upstairs. job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Mike Tyson. Bishop's combination punching is working well here. Mike Tyson's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. And that's the end of round three. Beginning of round number four, Teddy, the way your scorecard reads, he's up three rounds to zip. Good, accurate punching, earning him that lead. Yeah, very conservative, hasn't wasted anything, but as you just touched on, has made everything count. Tyson's making for a very, very difficult night for his opponent. His opponent knew this was coming. He knew he was going to fight on the outside, but the jab is really doing damage. Well, his opponent knew this was coming. Why is he not blocking that jab or moving his head and getting away from it? Goes up top with a right hand. Tyson's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. Andre Bishop's not jabbing that much right now. That's got to help out his opponent. Yeah, you know, that's like giving him a free one because now his opponent doesn't have to worry as much when he walks in. No jab to keep him out. He's going to see the other punches coming so much easier when there's not a jab covering them. <gasps> that round comes to an end. A round that I do believe he won. He fought much better there compared to what we saw out of him earlier. Yeah, don't show me how somebody behaves when they're winning. You know, really, I want to see how someone behaves when they're losing. He's behaving the right way. He's getting himself back into this thing. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. 
The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Did you see that? 